on a first impressions of the pumped up Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. So if this is something you guys want to see, if you've been looking at this mascara or wondering exactly how it applies to lashes and watch it apply to the lashes in my first impressions, the first time opening the bottle, then this will be the video for you guys, so just stay tuned. I have just simply curled my lashes and I'm gonna test this out right now. I'm very excited to, I've heard some great things about this Maybelline mascara and Maybelline is my favorite brand of mascara. I bought this at Walmart, it was under $10 and I got the classic black. So, and that's in number 216. I'm gonna open this up here and whoo, this is what the mascara looks like. It's pink and it has like goldy yellow writing on it and it looks like that. It's pretty sleek, pretty nice so far. It's a really, pr I love like pink packaging and girly packaging. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is what the wand looks like. It looks like that. So it has like these two little balls there. It smells like a generic mascara. Packaging the wand is pretty big and if you guys can see that it looks like there is yellow underneath the wand Like the wand is yellow so you can kind of see the yellow in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that I'm just gonna give it just one More pump. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna apply this on and I'm wearing a little bit of lighter eyeshadow today so that you guys can see this mascara working so far um I think it's lengthening well. I don't think that it's thickening that great. Like I don't feel it grabbing onto my lashes. It kind of just feels very light and airy. Um, so if you like a lighter mascara than this one so far, like I just put like literally one coat on. So I do see a difference between this and like the manga mascara that I just tried. Um, the manga mascara had a thicker consistency and really grabbed onto your lashes. Okay, so that is like one kind of full coat that I do. It's definitely not as um, pump up as I would have liked it to be. Again, you guys have to realize that something that works for me very well may not work for somebody else, vice versa. Like if you love something, I may not love it because everybody's different. Everyone likes different things. I love a really thick, spidery lashes and this is more like of a natural kind of lengthening mascara. It doesn't really thicken that well in my opinion or on my lashes. To me, this is just like kind of like a everyday generic mascara to me. The ones like the manga mascara, that one really was different and really voluminized my lashes. I'm gonna keep doing exactly what I do with my lashes every day to see if there is a dramatic difference. I don't know, I just, I don't feel like I like the consistency of it. I honestly think that's what it is. Like I just don't like the consistency. So the top lashes have dried for a bit. That's what I do. And then I go again. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's almost like they're just sticking together in very weird ways. Like I enjoy a sticky mascara, do not get me wrong. But this is like almost like too sticky and dry at the same time. Like two different things working together. That might sound very weird, like it dries very quickly, like rapidly almost is what I'm getting at. Yeah, it's like already dried on my bottom lashes, which is great if you're on a go or like an everyday mascara, like I said. But I do love how black it is. It's pretty black, so A plus with that. Touch up the bottom lashes what I can. Like some of them, like these are all stuck together and over here it's like pretty spaced out, which is nice. Yeah, the bottom lashes went pretty nice. I really like that. And this is what we've came up with. So the difference is pretty good. Um, I really see a difference. They did make my lashes pretty long. I just, I guess, don't like the consistency, consistency of it, sorry. How it's very, very sticky and drying at the same time. So here's an up close of the eye. Looks like that. Actually, it didn't get my little baby lashes right there. 
Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and be right back. Yeah, you guys, I think it's just the um, stickiness and layering it because the first um, sort of coat like this is very thin, not too much product, but then it dries so rapidly that when I go and apply a second coat like right now, it gets very weird. Like it gets really sticky and hard and that works well with some mascaras, but I feel like the one doesn't really grasp them as well as it should. Like the consistency would probably be better if the wand was a little bit better. See, and then these ones over here are like really spaced out and then I use this big wand to try to get them close together and it's not gonna do it justice. Why is there no mascara like right there on my lash? Do you see that? How it's like mascara there and then not in the middle? What is going on here? I think it's just the wand is just way too big to get in the small little lashes, so. I think I'm just about done here. Like they are spidery. I don't know. I like I like them, but I don't. Does that make sense? Like I'm kind of 50-50. I don't like how it applies, but I kind of like how spidery it is afterwards, like that. So if this is something that you guys are interesting, maybe you should go look into the Pump Up mascara. Also, it could have been just a bad batch, right? Because um, certain mascaras, different tubes will get a different consistency as well. That's just the makeup world and makeup processing. But here's the lashes and what they look like. Tisk. Tisk, Samantha. This is what the mascara looks like on my eyes. So it did do something. Like it's not just like all oh, my lashes aren't anything. I guess I just didn't like the consistency of it. So for packaging, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Consistency, a two out of five. Final product, I'm gonna give like a 3.5 out of five. Lengthening, 3.5 out of five. Thickening, two out of five. Spideriness, which is either good or bad depending on your own preference, but I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. Stickiness is a 4.5 out of five. So I hope you guys, that, that helps you. Again, everybody's different. It'll work with everybody's lashes differently. So those are my first impressions of the Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara that has been just raved about. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys! And this girl was saying that she put a GPS tracking device on her boyfriend when he went out.